social. I hope you're all doing well. If you are new here, Karibu, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are returning subscribers, subs oh my goodness, returning viewer, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing, guys. So uh, today I'm gonna be talking about uh, ways that we you can get a green card to the United States. Cause you know I've had people that ask me, hey, uh, Faith, how can I uh, come to the U.S. and stuff like that. So guys, if you're coming to the U.S., you wanna come uh, and be a legal U.S. Uh, you know a resident or you know a citizen or whatever. So having a green card is one of the best ways to come to the U.S because you can come here and you'll be able to live without stress you'll be free you'll be able to you know just live your normal life uh, work uh, you know just do everything go to school and do all things legally without having to worry about not being able to have the right documents so guys we are gonna jump into this video because I'm driving so you know I'm just gonna give the information real quick welcome back the one way to come to the United States is through family so if you have a family in the United States and when I talk about family family based uh, uh, visas are like spouses of people that live in the United States so if you are a US citizen and your spouse is back home or if you're you know out, outside the United States and your spouse is in the United States they can file for you and you'll get a green card so they do the I-130 that's the petition for uh, an alien relative and then you'll be able to come to the United States and they'll give you a green card and you come here be a permanent resident and live a normal life so um, family based there are different categories so there are spouses of United States uh, resident uh, I mean uh, citizens also children of United States uh, citizens if you have children or if you're a child of a US citizen they can petition for you to come to the United States also under family based uh, you know green card visas or petitionings you can if if uh, you are dating someone in the United States they can you know if you engage to some a US citizen they can file for you they can get a, a fiance visa and uh, get you coming to the United States also uh, siblings of United States citizens so if uh, you know your your brother and sister is in the United States you can file for them but guys these visas you know these visas they have different processing times depending with the availability of the visa and some take longer than others so like the siblings of uh, United States citizens it takes a little bit longer but I mean if you are let's say in your early 20s or you're a teenager and your sibling is uh, back in is in the United States so by the time you're in your late 20s or by the time you're in your early 30s you can be able to travel to the United States so that's an option right there with a family based green card visas or green card petitionings another way to get a green card visa to come to the United States it's uh, through employment so guys you can have a um, an employer petition for you so if an employer is unable to get workers in the United States they can uh, get workers from outside the country and if they are able to prove that they uh, posted the job opening but they couldn't find a qualified uh, worker in the United States then they can petition for someone from outside the country so when you have a petition uh, when you have an employer that petitioning for you the process takes about you know the process has like three steps and uh, the first step is the employer as I said has to show that they were not able to get an employer from the United States and then um, then they have to also show that they're gonna be hiring and be paying you the same salary that they 
could pay someone from the United States so that they're not getting you because you're cheaper than uh, because you're gonna be providing cheaper labor labor they have to show that they'll be paying you the same amount that they would pay a US citizen or someone that's in the United States already also uh, they have to show that they are able to um, they have the means and they have the finances to pay to be able to pay you so they have to prove that to the embassy that they are now gonna give you a full-time job and then they'll not be able to uh, pay you once they're able to do all that they are uh, they can submit the petition and then uh, they'll pay for the fees that are required uh, by the US uh, immigration services and then uh, once that process is done now you can uh, be able to get a visa to come to the United States also under employment visa there are also other categories whereby uh, if you're a person with a unique uh, if you have some unique um, abilities or talent or if you have some uh, something unique like that maybe you've done your masters you've done your PhD and you have high education levels they can also uh, give you a green card to come and work in the United States so it shows that you know if you're able to uh, be of benefit to the United States you know like those people that run if you've won some uh, medals uh, if you're able to show that truly uh, you're a person of value you know you're gonna come you're gonna come to the United States and add some value then yes they can uh, you can petition and they will give you some uh, they'll give you a green card and you'll be a United States resident then another way to come to the United States as I've always said guys it's through the green card uh, lottery this is uh, whereby you apply for the lottery and it, it's on every October November of every year and uh, so you put up an application you put up your information you know your uh, passport information with a photo image of you and then after like six months they they draw the results for the uh, DV lottery and once you win you come to the United States and uh, they give you a green card visa uh, so that one of course it has no limits once you come here with a green card visa again you can leave work uh, do whatever you want and uh, even eventually become a US citizen if you want to apply for that so guys if you um, haven't seen my previous videos on uh, the green card visa the DV lottery please go and watch my videos I have a lot of videos on our DV lottery and guys May of this May next should be like next month uh, it's when the DV lottery uh, visa uh, results will be coming out so the people that were able to apply last year we're gonna be getting our results so another way to uh, get a green card to the United States is also if you file asylum. This is whereby you prove to the U.S. government that you're under political assassination or religious assassination, or you belong to a group in the society that's uh, like an outcast, or you know people are trying to attack uh, that kind of group. You can uh, file asylum. You have to have a a proof because uh, you know if they find out that you're lying of course they will uh, deport you and you know there will be so many consequences uh, with that um, also you know if you're here and let's say you're visiting you can change your status to asylum and uh, you know just prove to the government that if you go back to your country your life will be under uh, danger if you are able to prove that then uh, you can change your status and they'll be they'll give you a green card so guys those are the main main so guys those are some of the ways that you can get a green card to the United States and those are just highlights I didn't uh, do anything like into details guys but um, if you know depending with how things goes I can uh, talk about these different uh, visas you know in details uh, it would take maybe a video for each and every visa because uh, there's so many steps involved in the process and each and every uh, 
kind of visa it takes you know different processing times and and of course uh some of them there are things that you you have to prove to the government and uh also there are you know things that you have to consider there's money involved in all this process so i mean uh in the future i can always talk about these uh visas in more details so guys if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing uh join the gang so you um uh, can always see more videos on immigration i talk about nursing too i post some lifestyle videos and motherhood uh, videos See you guys on my next video. Bye.